PressBox has you and yours covered for this summer's sports camps. Just go to PressBoxOnline.com and click on our summer camp guide for complete listings and information. And welcome back to Inside Press Box. The Baltimore Blast currently stand at 19 and 5, good enough for second place. Just two games behind the rival Milwaukee Wave, so there seems a good likelihood that again the MISL's version of Steelers and Ravens may meet again in this year's playoffs. Joining me now is assistant to head coach Danny Kelly, and that's our old friend David Bascombe, just off his big date of February 16th and the special Hope for Life game. And David. We normally would have you on and talk mostly about the blast and just a touch about your 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 nonprofit uh, thing. I'd like to spend some time on Hope for Life. You told me that you started this in Bermuda. Yes, Hope for Life is a nonprofit organization. was started in Bermuda. We actually started it with the request of the government, Bermuda government. Um, we was actually going through some some issues with gang violence in Bermuda, and young people just not having hope. Being, uh, being from Bermuda myself and being actually um, one of the role models, they've actually encouraged me to actually build this. Um, with my upbringing and everything I've went through, you know, I was actually in an orphanage and, you know, been incarcerated, been locked up. Right. So that whole passion and that whole drive and for my means of helping young people is why I came up with the Hope for Life. So we built it in Bermuda for 10 years. It's been 10 years. 10 so, years. So 10 years is a large enough chunk of time that you've seen seven-year-olds grow into 17-year-olds or 12-year-olds into 22. Has it worked? I mean, is, are there quantifiable examples of people that you know you've touched? Yes, definitely. And it's, it's, it's amazing because when we use the word hope, so it wasn't, I was doing work way in Bermuda 22 years ago when I started playing pro. We have basically seen about five to 6,000 young men and women you know, process through the Hope for Life uh, program. The one thing we do with Hope for Life, we don't go in and say we're going to build concerts or, or you know, have a counseling service. We attach ourselves to counseling service, to the abuse centers. This is where we're seeing the success. For instance, a young man or woman may come to me. I do motivational speaking also all around the world. When I go in to speak to young people, uh, you know, doing my speaking engagements, uh, you know, for instance, a prime example, one of the young girls, 13 years old, came up, says, Mr. Bascom, uh, I understand your story. It's, it's very it's encouraging to me. It's a 13-year-old. Yeah. She says, I need some help. Now, this young girl never went once to her counseling service that's at the school. Never told anybody, but she was a, a young girl that was getting abused by her father, sexually abused. But because she knew what your story was and how you've helped others, she reached out to you. She reached out. So what we've done and how Hope for Life works is that we, at that point, said, you know what? We are collaborated with also the abuse centers and all these other centers. So what we've done, we basically walk this young lady straight to the abuse centers. Now, also, we also are tied in with the police, the, the parole boards, everything. We also had our father arrested and inside of not even 24 hours. So it's these things that has to happen because if we don't collaborate to move our young people and also collaborate to also encourage them to be critical thinkers, we don't get no teaching hope. them, essentially, you're teaching them empowerment. Yes, How exactly. to, to handle life's problems and prosper from them, so to speak. Exactly. By prosper, I don't mean money. Yeah. I mean to move on more positively. That's exactly what it is, and that's the strength of it. And we can only have the strength in numbers. We're actually we're also tied in with education, and that's one of our biggest components of Hope for Life. So if we take Hope for Life and all these pieces around it, for one, you got sports, second, you got entertainment, the third one you're going to have is education, then you look at community groups and then professional franchises. To build hope now, we use ODs and work with each group. Right now, our education component is going to be one of our strongest. Education is needed all around, especially with young people, for them to be critical thinkers and preparing them for the 21st century social and business. We're also building a program in Bermuda, as we speak, um, actually for the prisoners, because the same thing to empower them. If not, they consider they're just going to go right back in. Let me move to Baltimore now. Yes. So after doing that nine years in Baltimore, you've come up with the idea, and you just recently had a game, a blast game that you did something before, and we've got some footage of that right now. Where did you come up with the idea of doing this in Baltimore, and what prompted that? It's, it's the same thing. I realize is that to have an effect and a global effect and a national effect, we have to do things more 
and more have exposure. Um, we've been doing some stuff in Harrisburg, speaking engagements. But with the Baltimore Blast, I think it's a great channel uh, because they're a professional franchise. And what better place to partnership? Not only are we looking to partnership with Baltimore, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to find my way into the Ravens, to the Orioles, because it's not just building also leaders within our little people and our parents. Also, a lot of our professional athletes need to understand the importance of leadership. We have been given a voice. And as a professional athlete, your voice is greater than educators. If we like it or not, if educators like it or not, that's the reality of the beast. We, we have a stronger voice than a lot of business people and an even stronger voice than a lot of politicians because a lot of young people through media, they watch sports. They want to be that athlete if it's a swimmer, if it's a tennis player. Hope for life in our professional side of it now, D of the athletes, we now generate and pull them in. But not anybody can talk to your young people. Not any professional athlete should be just going out and saying whatever we want. Right. So our job is to make sure is that when we use our Baltimore Blast players and we get tied in with some of the major franchises, our focus is to make sure that they're singing the same song. They're not just going into the schools and saying, you know what, young people stay in school. That's not enough. David, i got to ask you, we got less than a minute right now, and we haven't talked about this season at all, right. and we're not going to. You really get more fulfillment out of this than actual actually playing, having I, played soccer. I tell you what, my fulfillment came of winning my championship when I went through my abuse when I was young, for seven years of sexual abuse, when I was incarcerated. All I had was the game. I had nothing else. My fulfillment, the biggest thing that I was told that I'd never win, that if I tell anybody about the abuse, I'll get myself in trouble and be able to play the game. So my focus was to win a championship. I've completed that task. My fulfillment now is passing something off our young people, and that's why I'm here. It blew me away tonight. Uh, uh, you know, this is a side of you. I, I've always liked you, and we've right. had you on the show. Didn't know all about this, but I appreciate your coming on. We'll continue to support your efforts. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. We thank David Bascombe. When we get back, we're going to listen to two lacrosse coaches who had something to say at our February 2nd Thursday luncheon at Fedonia Station. So stay Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs. <laughs>